This is the mid-module review, side one. In the first part of our module, we have practiced learning properties of multiplication and division and solving problems with units two through five and 10. Number one, Billy organizes his baseball cards into five rows of three cards in a book. Draw an array that represents Billy's baseball cards. Use an X to show each card. I see that Billy has five rows of three. So I need to create five rows with three in each row. But again, my directions say X's, so I need to start that again. I'm gonna make one row of three two rows of three, three rows of three, four rows of three, and five rows of three. Part B. Billy adds three more rows of three cards to his book. So this time he's adding three more rows of three use circles to show his new cards in the array in part A. So this time I'm gonna add circles and I'm gonna continue on my array by adding three rows of three. One row of three, two rows of three, and three rows of three. Part B. Fill in the blanks below to show how he added the three rows. To start, Billy had five rows of three, so he had five threes. Then he added three rows of three. In total, the entire array has eight rows of three. Next, I have to write a sentence to explain my thinking. I'm gonna write a sentence to explain what these numbers mean. So I would like to write first, Billy had five rows of three. After that, he added three more rows of three. So I'm gonna add that as my next sentence. Then he added three rows of three. In total, Billy had eight rows of three. So that's gonna be my last sentence. Billy had eight rows of three. Part C, find the total number of cards Billy organized. To do this, I'm not going to write a multiplication sentence. I'm going to practice my skip counting. So I'm looking back at my array and I'm going to skip count by threes because I have three in each row. So I have three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. I'm gonna repeat that count by down in letter C. I can use my picture above to help. Three, six, nine, twelve, eighteen. Oh, I messed up. Let's fix that. Fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four. Part D. Write a multiplication sentence to describe the array representing the total number of cards Billy put in his book. Look back at your array and write a multiplication sentence that shows row times size equals the total. 